All right, so welcome back, folks, to the Wanneroo channel. So today we're going to take a look at the uh, Good Nature A24 um, Rat and Stoat Automatic Trap. Um, this comes out of uh, New Zealand. And so I first ran across this uh, years ago um, just by pure accident. I don't know, YouTube recommended a video or something of that nature and, um, you know, saw it and I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, and, uh, it, you know, down in New Zealand, they're having a big problem with uh, a lot of introduced pests and things like that. Um, brats and stoats and different things that are, you know, of course, down in New Zealand, they have a lot of flightless birds. And a lot of those have been decimated uh, over the years. And so um, they've been trying to keep a lot of the different predators of a lot of these flightless birds under control. And um, this one company, Good Nature, came up with this trap, um, which they, they've been uh, using uh, all over New Zealand. Especially, I know, on the Stewart Island, down on the very southern tip uh, off the coast of uh, the South Island of New Zealand. And um, so the, the, the cool thing about this is that basically once they have it uh, set up um, with the bait inside here and then also your uh, carbon dioxide cylinder, um, it'll last about 24 kills um, so they can go and put these out um, you know all across the forest or the woodlands or in different areas um, and um, they kind of in a way maintain themselves um, so um, so they've been using them down there quite effectively and then at some point someone here um, in this country um, decided to uh, bring them in or they set up their own company or whatever to import them or maybe even Good Nature owns them, I don't know. But um, but anyways, they've been available for sale here in the United States uh, for a while. They are uh, a little bit on the pricey side, but I have been very happy with it. And the nice thing with it is that you basically get it all set up as I just have, and you're good to go for 24 kills. Um, so the best I've gotten that I know of is about three mice in one night. So. If you live on a rural property, um, you're going to have, you know, even if you live in an urban area, you know, you're going to have mice, rats, squirrels, um, you know, chipmunks that are going to try to invade your space. And one thing I can't stand is rodents. And I kind of have the philosophy of, hey, you can go do whatever you want out there in the woods. Um, but, you know, if, once you start to kind of mess around my yard, house, you know, barn, whatever, um, your toast. Uh, so, <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I wanted a trap that basically I could set up and uh, just kind of leave it to do its thing. And pretty much that's what this does. And so previously, I've used this now for several years. And what I just did was it was just filthy from using it. Um, you know, um, it's been outside and, you know, it's killed, uh, <laughs> killed, tons of, of, of mice and, and rodents and stuff. Um, and so I use it up at the range building, um, actually, um, uh, as well. And um, so it's gotten a lot of use. So it was just getting dirty, filthy, whatever. I took it completely kind of apart. Uh, the, this, this piece right here fits onto this little um, cart that kind of holds it. And then you have this piece right here that holds the bait and all that. So I got in there and I cleaned it all out good and, and um, you know, got it looking good again and got it ready to go because um, it's September now and all of these little rodents and stuff, they're going to start looking for a place to nest um, for the fall. Um, the other thing I previously used it as, I, this, this cart, I've never actually used this before. What I did before was I just had like a 2x6 um, and then built kind of a 2x4 to angle and then just screwed this. There's another orange piece that comes with it that I screwed that to the uh, two by four and used that. And then what happened was over a couple years or whatever, the wood rotted away or, you know, whatever. It was just looking kind of bad. And I had this hanging on the wall. So I went ahead and connected that today. Um, so I've used different types of uh, bait with it. Um, I think uh, when you buy the trap, it comes with bait. You can order bait from good nature as well. And there's kind of like a little bait cup in here but I've had good success with using, um, I've used dried cherries, I've used peanuts, 
Um, right now I'm using actually peanut butter. Um, so I have it set up where there's basically just a, you know, a little snippet just to kind of entice them. And then what happens is, is they go up inside of the trap right there whenever they um, the bait is up at the top and then once they hit that little stick right there it triggers the co2 powered hammer hammers them in the head and uh, kills them dead um, so that's pretty much how that works so i'd say about um i've had i'll have to look back whenever i bought it but um, i think uh, i've had it now at least three years um maybe even more than that but yeah it's worked really well and um you know super happy with it so um, the only thing is uh, sometimes that you do have to watch for is like um, you know when you use peanut butter and stuff it'll kind of leak out over time make a little bit of a mess so you do have to kind of maintain the bait sometimes as well like I had some dried cherries in there at one point and that stuff kind of leaked through or whatever um, so you do have to kind of watch for some of that um, but yeah, you know, the nice thing is, is that you can just set it up and just kind of let it do its thing. And, um, you know, it, it just goes to town killing them one after another. So um, it's it's nice and convenient compared to dealing with, um, you know, regular mouse traps and things like that where you get one kill out of it and then you have to go and reset it or throw it away or whatever. And this just keeps hammering them one after another. So, you know, pretty, pretty good piece of kit. So um yeah so i have to you know definitely uh, give this a good recommendation um you know you can get all the different gear and stuff from good nature like if you need supplies to reload it and all that the co2 cylinders um, they also have this one piece of kit here uh, with a little um, it kind of um, senses vibration and records the number of kills one of the things I found with it is that if you put it outside and you have, like I do, I've got foxes and stuff, um, you know, different cats running around and stuff like that, is that oftentimes uh, once you get a good kill through here or whatever and the body's laying there, um, you know, the fox or the cat will go, oh, yeah, a nice little snack for me. And they'll come by and clean up the mess without you having to do anything. So I've found that to be the case uh, quite often, actually. Um, so that's that's a nice little feature um, if you're living in a rural area. So yeah, works real well. Um, highly recommended. Um, definitely worth um, having. You know, it is a little bit on the pricey side, but the way I look at it is that hey, if it lasts for a couple years and is killing those little rodents one after another and keeping them out of your barn or your garage or whatever, or in my case. Like the shooting range and the closet up there that uh, you know holds everything then hey I'm all for it so um, you know definitely got to give it a great rating and it's worth having you know so anyways um, thanks y'all for watching um, I'll see if I have some footage um, I can go ahead and uh, fold in here um, from using it and uh, y'all have a good one all right so yesterday we filmed the video um, I've had this good nature trap now a couple years uh, cleaned it up and got it all reset up with peanut butter and um, we got our first little victim here so he had been trying to burrow under the barn and so the good nature trap took care of that so we'll go ahead and dump the carcass out in the woods and put the trap back in place and see what else we get